This is Teak. Teak is almost six years old. She's a Border Collie. You often think of Border Collies as long-haired dogs, but they can have short coats and they can be any color. They're usually black and white, but they can be a variety of colors. The important thing in Border Collies is that they have athletic ability, intelligence, and sheep herding ability, and nobody cares about uh, what they look like. So uh, Teak is another kind of sheep dog. We talked about the livestock guardian dog in one of the other videos as a sheep dog that guards the sheep. And Teak is a completely different type of dog. As a herding dog, the sheep think that she just might be a wolf and they're a little bit uncomfortable around her. They're not friends with her like they are with the livestock guardian dog. And Teak thinks this is a lot of fun. Um, it's kind of embarrassing to say Teak actually enjoys intimidating the sheep a little bit. It's like a game for her, but that's her motivation. She'll spend her whole uh, herding career hoping that someday I'll let her kill a sheep and eat it. But for the time being, she's perfectly content to be under command. Lie down, Teak! Border Collies are good listeners, unlike the livestock guardian dog that works more independently and doesn't usually have to listen to someone. Border Collies need to listen about half the time. The other half, they're working on instinct and they may be working on a sight of the shepherd but they're always plugged into the shepherd at some point when they're working. They're never completely alone with the sheep. And one of the things the Border Collie is known for as a skill is that they can gather sheep. There are other breeds of herding dog that tend to drive sheep away from the shepherd, but the Border Collie is probably the most widely used breed in the world for gathering sheep. And so when I command sheep to go out, when I command Teak to go out to the sheep, she will circle around them and bring them back to me instinctively. Shh. And notice she's jogging around to get them in a straight line. Lie down, Teak. But she can also take them where I want them to go. She doesn't just have to do it by instinct. I have specific commands I can give her and Americans use the traditional Scottish commands, so when I want her to circle the sheep to her left, I say, come by. Teak, come by. Lie down. Lie down. Lie down. And lie down just means stop. She doesn't have to lay all the way down. If I want her to circle the sheep to her right, lie down, Teak. I use the traditional Scottish man. Lie down, Teak. Way to me. Lie down. You can see how she kind of does look like a wolf, the way she's slinking and stalking. And they're not really afraid of her, but they're not comfortable with her either, so they keep moving away. She also knows if I tell her to walk up, Walk up, Teak, to walk straight toward them. And I can steer from this direction, too. Teak, way, lie down. Walk up, Teak, lie down. That'll do, Teak. That'll do is the traditional call-off command. There really aren't very many commands. It's the nuances of how they're used. And if I want to send her to bring them back, I can also use a whistle. I have a whistle command that corresponds to all my voice commands. And I'm going to send her come by, and my whistle command for that is... <whistles> and that's the whistle to stop or lie down. That's the whistle to walk up toward him. She's coming a little fast, so slow down. And I'll give her a whistle to circle him to her right, which is a way to meet whistle. Good job, Teak. And she truly loves her work. I don't even have to praise her. That's why I'm not praising her. That'll do, Teak. 
she knows when she's good, but she's happy. She just loves doing this so much that it's kind of self-fulfilling. So Border Collies are interesting dogs in their own way because they're so work obsessed. But they're also a lot of fun to be around and they're invaluable in a farming situation.